supposed to take time off during the summer, but sometimes the season can be so busy we can't. This journey is all about getting back to the slower, small town way of life. And in Blackwell, a town of about 300 people, you can. On the main street in town, yes, I said the, you can't miss one of the main sources of income called moonshines. Of course, they have the products to match the name, but there's so much more. The couple who owns this joint wanted to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. They opened up shop but didn't know exactly what to get, so they asked. Each customer told them exactly what they drank, and the next time they came in, it would be on the shelf. This shop is customized to the people who keep them up and running. But don't worry, the selection is so broad and diverse, you're bound to find something that'll get you howling at the moon. Down the street is a grocery store in Delhi. You're likely to find the owner and employees on the benches out front or walking over to the other businesses in town to chew the fat. After you stock up on food, you can go to the Oak Creek Reservoir and fish, swim, kayak, or just enjoy the view. And speaking of views, photographers, get out your cameras. There are some historic buildings in the community of Tennyson on your way back home. The old post office has enough character to go along with all the letters sent and received over the years. Just down the next dirt road is the old Tennyson schoolhouse. It's the perfect way to reminisce about the old school way of life. Well, that's my last journey for this year, but just because mine are over doesn't mean yours have to be. So come down to the All-American Autoplex on Sherwood Way, hop in a new journey, and take one.